Erev Tov Chabrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live here. Very tragic day for the Russian Federation and losing the MI8 uh, helicopter. We briefly mentioned it in a video earlier this morning. Of course, we went into some other uh, issues there that we've been dealing with uh, we wanted to share with you. But I wanted to come back to this story this evening because on the actual video we loaded this morning, a Russian man, his name is Surreal, uh, in, in Russian, that's what is, uh, at least that's what's listed on his name there on our Facebook page, I mean our, our YouTube channel, his name is Surreal. Uh, I uh, won't call his last name, but that's what the Russian name is on our screen there that you'll see here. Uh, I don't know if you'll actually see it, but he, sh he shared with me a video, a Russian video that was made about this helicopter before departure. Uh, now, again, according to the Russian authorities, this helicopter was carrying humanitarian aid to Aleppo. Now, Russia has already been reporting for a couple of days now that they've been in involved with the Syrian army in a big humanitarian aid convoy going to uh, this, the, the uh, Syrian people that are stranded there in Aleppo. There's been a lot of videos even brought out about that, how that if it wasn't for uh, the army there, the Syrian army and the Russian army, uh, they wouldn't be getting this aid. Aleppo is really a very difficult place to get aid into because the rebels there, uh, and that's the U.S.-backed Syrian rebels, by the way, uh, they won't allow the people to even leave Aleppo. Now, this is the group that the United States wants Russia to leave alone, right? Just leave them alone. Let them overthrow Bashar al-Assad. I mean, it's really a crooked government, the U.S. government, the Obama administration specifically, when they're wanting uh, Russia to leave alone their little thugs over there, and now they shoot down an aid helicopter. Now, some people might say, well, Steve, you know, uh, that's just Russian propaganda and and, you know, it really wasn't an aid convoy. But, you know, guys, wait just a minute. I'm going to share with you some critical information that's going to show you just how much it is true. Now, let's just real quick, uh, let, let's do this here real fast. I want to take, let's go to a new tab right here. Um, Russian aid to Alep, uh, Aleppo. All right. Let's just take a look here. Uh, before this actually happens here, of course, the helicopter six hours ago, four days ago, Aleppo, Aleppo siege, a Syrian Russian to open aid exit corridors. All right. Now this is on CNN news for God's sake. Even they are reporting it. So there's no reason why the Obama administration doesn't know that Syrian Russia is to open aid exit corridors in a besieged Aleppo, uh, says officials there. The CNN News is even reporting it, okay? Uh, not only that, we've got other news as well. RT was, was speaking about it three days, three days ago. UN says Russia aid plan for Syria's Aleppo needs improving, according to Reuters. In other words, I guess they didn't like the way their aid plan was going. All right, so it's a known fact that they're going to do an aid plan, okay? So we can, we can at least look at that and see it. Of course, this is Sputnik News, a capture of a uh, photograph of the wreckage site there. This is uh, actually from a Twitter shot here. U.S. backed Syrian rebels shoot down Russian helicopter abuse uh, crew, crew's bodies. And yes, they did. I'm not going to show you what they did to these soldiers. I have actually watched the video. We have copied the video. I've already put a complaint in with Twitter on two of them because it's just unprofessional to show uh, the bodies of these men being done the way they are done after they are killed uh, is just completely wrong. But Surreal sent me this particular tweet here on, on another Russian news source here. And as I begin to examine it, and then also looking at the bodies, the two bodies that are on the ground there on another video that I actually have, I begin to notice that the two men that are actually in this video resemble very closely to the two men that were dead on the ground. Now, um, I have experience in this. I am former law enforcement. I've dealt with many homicides uh, in the course of time that I worked. So I do know what I'm looking at. And I know that a, a dead body is does 
change quite a bit, but there's characteristics and things that I noticed specifically that I wanted to share. Now, the title here in Russian is actually saying that this was the last video that was shot before this helicopter was actually shot down. Uh, so it's not a stage thing, it's just the news just so happened to be covering about the humanitarian aid. And this is the helicopter that was shot down. Now, I'm going to show you something here as we go. All right, let me just share with you here. Right here. Now, this is the news guy talking about this humanitarian uh, uh, mission here. And they, they evacuate the injured to get them onto other transports. This man right here is one of the crewmen that's going on the helicopter. Now, not the guy there in the blue jeans, but this guy right here. All right, he's going to be one of the crew. All right, and then that's going to go away from him for a minute. He's a thin guy. I've noticed his haircut, etc. cetera. Uh, and then what's going to happen, we're going to come, they're going to go back outside the helicopter right there. Notice this guy right here in your screen here. He is heavy set. He's a different guy. He's not the guy that was standing there originally. He's got very broad uh, bottom in. He's large thigh type of man. If you've seen yourself the footage of the men that were laying there dead, that was the one unique characteristic about the first dead man that they were jumping up and down on. His lower torso was a, that of a very large man on the lower part of the torso. Very big hips, very big thighs, etc. calves. Uh, he's been burnt. His clothes were burnt off of him, uh, etc. They're jumping up and down on his body. But that's one of the first things that I noticed. Uh, he was this stature of a man, the same type of very skin tight haircut. And the man at the beginning of the video as well, the thinner man also with the same sort of haircut and everything uh, resembling the same stature, the same structure of this man here. So yes, indeed, this humanitarian mission was indeed a humanitarian mission to evacuate the Syrian refugees that have been injured, etc., due to the war. Uh, this is what they were doing. That man in your screen, let me just stop here just for a moment here. Let me, let me, let me go back to where that is again. I apologize, guys, there, uh, as soon as it gets out. I'm sitting here looking here thinking you guys are seeing this, and you, you may not be able to see that yourself. Um, it's this guy right here. His, his, his uh, buttocks area, his thighs, he's a large man in that area right there. Uh, and, you know, he's pretty much a, a broad man, but he's very big, you can tell, in the clothing there. And in the video itself that of the crash where some of the things that made it on Twitter where they're showing the bodies, that man's body is identical to the body that is laying on the ground that they're jumping up and down on. He's a very thick man. He's, he's, a, he's a heavy built man. Uh, and the other guy, the thinner guy, uh, looked like someone had uh, either put a bullet to his head or something like that. It's a very tragic situation. Uh, but it indeed, from evidence that I can see, as a professional from this before, I can clearly see evidence that this was indeed the exact same helicopter as the Russians are reporting there that was in the video there. Uh, that um, Let's see here. Um, I don't want you to actually see any of the, the footage there. Okay, this one here, they're blotting it out. They're, they're showing where they're dragging their bodies off there. Uh, I'm trying to avoid you guys seeing anything there. But as you can see some of the wreckage here, it's very bad. Bodies, uh, there's two bodies that they drug away from the helicopter there only to do what they were doing. That was one of them there. They're dragging him away only to abuse the bodies. But as I said, I have seen it. I have captured the image so I know for a fact what I'm looking at there. It is disturbing. It is very sad indeed that U.S.-backed Syrian rebels would shoot down a humanitarian mission. Um, that is a disgrace for the Obama administration uh, that they cannot have the decency to recognize that they're trying to help the, those people on the ground there. Very sad indeed. It's, you know, so these are the type of things, guys, that escalate the violence. This is the type of things that is pushing Russia to the edge. Their people being murdered by the people that the U.S. wants back. 
believe me, the, the, the Russian president is definitely going to take action. There's no doubt about it. You know, for, for him to lose five of his men in a humanitarian aid mission, uh, I, I can only imagine that there's going to be retaliation. It's not going to be retaliation on the U.S. It's going to be a retaliation on the U.S.-backed Syrian rebels. They're the ones that's going to pay the price for it. Uh, but we've already got enough tensions as it is here in this part of the world, in Eastern Europe with Russia, with all the things that the U.S. is doing in NATO, provoking the Russian Federation. Uh, we don't need any more issues, especially like this one. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Sure.